So in ambulance responses, every minute matters. And getting ambulances to patients that really need that service fast, especially with cardiac arrest patients, um, is a really critical uh, need for our society. My name is Banache Bezad, one of the co-hosts of Originals, where we present outstanding research in everyday language. In today's episode, I'm excited to introduce Dr. Laura McClay, who is a professor in the Industrial Engineering Department of University of Wisconsin-Madison. She's going to talk about one of her research topics, which is about ambulance and natural disasters. Professor Laura McClay. I'm a professor of industrial and systems engineering at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Uh, one of my research projects looks at um, decision making in ambulance, uh, in ambulance settings. So specifically how to locate and dispatch ambulances. In some sense it's a simple problem. You call 911 and ambulance comes. Um, but making good decisions along the way is sometimes a little unintuitive. And when 911 calls um, are made to the system, they have different priority levels, different patient needs, different patient locations, and figuring out how to best locate and send ambulances to patients um, really can result in a um, uh, great uh, public health effort to just make sure patients have the best outcomes. Balancing those immediate patient needs with future patients, um, again, is counterintuitive. So how do we figure out the best way to do that that's fair for all patients and results in good patient outcomes? Um, we use a lot of math modeling for that. So ultimately we have an optimization model which, which says, hey, we have some decision variables we can control and what's the best way we can control these variables that will lead us to good patient outcomes in this context. Um, we also have patients queuing up. Hopefully the line doesn't get too long for an ambulance. We want patients to be immediately served but queuing models that work in space are really important for this area of research. Right, so two of the algorithms that I use to solve the optimization models are dynamic programming and Markov decision processes. And both algorithms are pretty sim uh, similar in that they uh, take the current state of the system, which can be the configuration of ambulances, um, as well as the incoming call that just arrived, and they figure out the best decision to make for this incoming call, which is usually which ambulance to send, and they, they balance that decision, how to best serve this ambulance, with the patients that might arrive um, in the near future. Um, and it figures out the best way to solve this for each stage throughout time um, and for each configuration of ambulances in the system. Uh, predicting the patients that come in the future is tricky, but with um, a large amount of historical call data, we're able to predict um, with some level of accuracy uh, what types of patients will arrive to the system and also where they're located in the city or county. Uh, my data comes from Hanover County, Virginia, and I have data from other cities and counties as well. Um, the data can stretch back years, um, which, gives, um, which gives us a great understanding for what's happened in the past, what calls they get, how to best manage the system. It's also very exciting to see the research being put into practice. And um, this happened uh, with a county that I've worked with. They changed from using some ambulances to SUVs to for responding to ambulances, and this drastically improved the response times. So they were able to get to you know, emergencies much faster, which in turn uh, helped to save lives. And this led to a National Association of Counties uh, award, uh, a national award. Uh, and it was really exciting to, to make a difference in, in the community where I lived. So we live in a world with limited resources. There's not an ambulance on every street corner. And because of this, we have to figure out how to best use the resources that we have. And this isn't just an issue that we see when managing emergency medical services or fire departments. It's in virtually every system that we have and that we use. So if we can figure out how to best utilize our resources and get the most bang for our buck, we're going to see a huge improvement in um, whatever outcome we're interested in. And math modeling is a really effective way to figure out how to get the most bang for our buck and to deliver uh, these resources and use them in a way that is efficient and very effective and also often very fair. So math modeling is really helpful for locating and routing ambulances, figuring out how to route ambulances during weather disasters, but it has many, many other applications. You can improve passenger 
screening at airports, uh, route planes, airplanes at different from hub airports and then to the, the smaller airports, figure out how to optimize interlibrary loan schedules for the trucks, um, as well as many other applications. Um, so it's always important to know math. Math has many uses, and once you learn some math, you see the applications of math everywhere.